Okay, so I'm kind of broke. There, I said it. I have spent the past few years spending money like I was working, which I am not. So for the remainder of my life, I apparently have a mission to live affordably, all while still enjoying some kind of unplanned life. And it all starts right here in Albania. Hi, I'm Rick and welcome back to The Journey. And yes, we are in year three of our wild nomadic life, a life which involves living on a fixed income, a very limited and small fixed income, which has been, how shall I put it, truly interesting. And so after those three years, we find ourselves traveling throughout Eastern Europe, and we also find ourselves falling back on our wayward spending ways. Well, all of that, that ends. That ends today. But I forgot the line, so why don't I come over here and remember it before I try to read it. We are going back to living on a budget, all the while pretending like we're not. <sighs> And believe it or not, I think this town of Tirana, Albania is truly going to help in so many ways that I just, I can't wait to share with you. Want to take a little tour of the apartment? Okay, I have to describe something before we come in here. I don't know if you can see in there. Do you see all the chrome? I was telling Nikki last night, as soon as we got here in Albania, the whole place reminded me of my very first apartment in 1980. You know, when you become a, a teenager turned man and you have your first place. Everything just felt shiny, chromey. I'm having this weird sense of nostalgia here in Albania. It just feels like that. Anyway, here's home. This is a one bedroom apartment. It has a Nikki. It has, well, let's do everything. Well, there's the bathroom complete with bidet. I did not have that in my first apartment. Oh, here's something weird. If you've never really come overseas, the water heater is always mounted to the wall somewhere it's never hidden away apparently it's decorative huge freaking shower by the way you could have a major you know, major rave party in here i don't know what that is i have no clue what that is but we walked in last night and tell me that's not out of the 1970s by the way we walked in here last night and went oh this is huge. It's so nice. I mean, it's got a, a full kitchen with plates and everything and a dining room table. And we live in a bus. And when we're not living in a bus, we live in hostels inside of bunk beds and shared kitchen. This, I want to show you something. Do you know how much of a luxury this is to have room for 400 people in your home? We, we do not have this. We have not had this in so long. Uh, it has air conditioning, thank God. Oh, and here's a cool part. Ooh, it has a balcony. A lovely balcony, of course, made with chrome. Uh, I don't know what all of this is. But it's, it's funky as hell. You got mountains. Uh, there's little restaurants circling all around us. There's a grocery store that's right underneath of us. More restaurants. It is so freaking nice. I'm gonna explain a little bit. Let me get that bright light out of your eyes. I'm gonna explain a little bit more in the end of the video why we're here, why we're looking, and why I'm so freaking giddy. But did I mention we have a full kitchen? in a dining room table and really really love this place now here's the fun thing we are not paying all that much for here uh, it depends on how long you're staying as to how much you pay now we're only here for two weeks but if we had rented this apartment for a month on a month-to-month -month basis it's around 700 dollars a month you can find these a little bit outside because we're dead central center of Tirana, Albania. If you go just a little teeny farther out, you can get this equivalent furnished for about $300 a month. Yes, campers, you are hearing that correct. Three to $700 a month for a fully furnished one bedroom apartment with absolutely everything you could possibly need. It's... That's why this place is kind of high on the list for possible places to, to park our social security fixed income living selves. What else haven't I showed you? Oh, let's just go a little quick into the bathroom. 
No, we did the bathroom. You don't want to see the bathroom. Let's look in the bedroom. It's got a queen size bed. Do you know how unusual it is to have queen size bed? It's got cabinets. It's got, well, that door goes to the outside where we just were. It is such a lovely oh no. We have a clock that doesn't work. That's going to bug the hell out of me. But this is incredible. This is going to be a fun two weeks. And like I say, in a little bit, I'm going to explain exactly what we're doing here and why we chose two weeks instead of our usual three days. Okay, I'm going to finish putting away groceries and uh, I'll figure out maybe we'll go exploring Albania, you and I. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Have we found the land of Roman? No. Yes. No. Yeah, there are Roman. Yeah, okay. instant noodles. Okay. Vegetable. Always, Always got to have some of those. Oh, you get the multi pack. Um, special chicken flavor. Okay, I am very picky about my toothpaste, and I can never find it anywhere except the U.S. and Mexico. They don't seem to have my brand. Well, get what you get. The downside of shopping outside, you can't find the brand you. Ooh. That looks deceptive. You like the stuff I have in the States. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't know what rock is, but it's my new go-to. Let's just hope it keeps the Rick stink away. What else we got in here? I find it really fun to go into grocery stores, which are not in the States, to find the differences. This in Albania, it's not that difficult to peruse. Um, I kind of understand this place. Oh, look, there's a Nikki. Where do you see the extra? Oh, extra. Uh -huh, it's extra salt. Uh, Four seventy-nine. It's salad, like what they put in us. Okay, that's actually not a bad price. <laughs> How much? Do, do the mm -hmm. mouth, do the mouth. It is. It's four dollars seventy-nine cents. Oh, is this the um the red stuff they have in Croatia? It is. I wish I liked it better. Fernenio. I should break out the translator. Do we want to get a coffee? But we do have this machine. I don't know how it works, but we have it. You can have one with creamy gusto or regular. They have them in smaller ones too, with one on, just in case. This is. Intense. Do they have the creamy? Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's try the small one. Here is the biggest downside to stores outside of the U.S. When you're young and you have stubble you look rugged. When you're old and gray and you have stubble, you look homeless. They do not sell men's beard and hair dye anywhere. Seems like the U.S. has the lock on that. So we need whatever this is. What are little sausages? A uh, salami stick? Mm -hmm. That's important. We like those. Spinach is important. I'm going to get a hands. Spinach. Oh, there's all your good cheese. Hi, future Rick. I'm editing a whole bunch of video, but we haven't quite finished the video yet. I forgot to tell you that whole haul was 12,000 lek, Albanian lek, which is equivalent to $120 US. Now I want to show you what we got. I could have spent the entire hour's worth of video, but... Uh, <laughs> You believe that's it? I mean, I know it doesn't look like a lot and we've got a bunch of stuff up there, but honestly, we had nothing. We all started and it did include a big, you know, bottle of vodka because <laughs> of course it did. Prices here, I think are generally what I kind of remember in the U.S., maybe a little lower, but there are places in the U.S. like where my daughter lives in Richmond, Virginia, where that whole thing would have cost us easily $300 US. I don't know why that little enclave of the country is so freaking expensive. Purchasing food here is fairly easy. I mean, it, the grocery stores are not as confusing as other countries we've been in. Although I have been in places where I thought I was buying coffee and cream and apparently I got yogurt and facial mud or something. I think it's going to be pretty cheap to eat here in a market. 
And then later on, we're going to go spend a little extra money because we want to see what real Albanian food tastes like. Money's a big thing here, as you've probably figured out by the title of the video. And yeah, we kind of need to talk about that. I'm just not quite ready yet. We're still not even... <laughs> We're not even 24 hours into this adventure yet, so give me a couple minutes and then we'll talk cash. So somehow this goes into that. I have no idea. Oh, something go in there? It looks like something goes in there. Uh, great. Turn on the light and see if that helps. Uh, not really. There. No. Is that a power? No. Oh, something happened. Uh, oh, okay. I understand now. Hot. Hotter. Hotter. Hottest. Okay, I'm gonna. We're gonna figure this out. Probably need one of these. What do these look like? Whoops. Oh, they're little flat pods. I don't know how to describe them. Oh, you gotta see this. See the shape is the same as the shape. See, even guys like me can learn. I think you put it in there. Close it. Select uh, you. And away we go. Anticlimactic. That was strangely easy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what everyone's going to put in the comments. Rick, you're an idiot. You can't make coffee. I might have gotten a large cup, too large of a cup. That was it. Yeah, definitely got too large of a cup. Okay, how does that thing come out? That's the part I'm really curious about. Does it... Where'd it go? I heard it go thump. Is there a... I think there's storage in there somewhere. I don't know how to get them out. Oh well, that's the landlord's problem, not mine. Okay, let's put this together and taste. Okay, well, you're looking for the crotch. Let me put you up here. Is that better? We are not what you call coffee snobs, but we do like coffee that tastes decent. And like all through Mexico, Mexico does not make a good cup of coffee. Spain has learned how to. This is... I can get used to this. Now, it's not Albanian coffee. It's, you know, some other national, international, global brand. Ah, but the artificial sweetener I put in there is pretty damn nasty. We're gonna have to fix that part. Wait, late breaking discovery. I figured this out. You actually pull this whole thing out <laughs> and there's all the little pods. It's the little things in life that make me happy. How do you... Stay, good boy, stay. What do you see different about these lights? Everyone around here, whoop, watch what happens. <laughs> All the lights for pedestrians or for cars down here in the city center, the entire pole has the light on it. There is no way possible you can go, I didn't see the light. I, if you couldn't see the light, then you honestly shouldn't be driving. I love them. Tirana is the capital of Albania, and it is very, very interesting. It's a, a fairly large European city. It's very, very modern. Albania, I looked it up, is primarily Muslim, but they also share other religions, such as, uh, I believe it was Serbian Orthodox. There's a lot of different churches, mosques, temples all around here. We just heard some lovely music coming out of the mosque behind us. I guess it was called the prayers. I didn't want to record then out of respect, but it was lovely singing. I truly, I'm following Nikki right now to find out we're going somewhere in bunker art. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this city. It has character. It has, I don't know what to put it. It just feels very, very comfortable. It's also a large enough city where you can find anything you could possibly want, but it's small enough where it feels personal. And so, yeah, I'm going to enjoy the couple of weeks here exploring around. According to Nikki, who has, I'll wait till that goes by. <laughs> And these guys, you know, 
Actually, you're just gonna have to put up with them. I'll sneak over here, maybe it's quieter. According to Nikki, there are thousands of these bunkers all over, I don't know if she said the city or the country, and they repurposed them. This is the former anti-nuclear bunker, for my former anti-nuclear bunker of the Ministry of the Interior. She said they're all over the place. Some of them have been turned into bars. This one's a museum. So I guess you could like spend the better part of a day or two or half of your life just exploring the bunkers. I want to go see what's inside. This is a very interesting and a very depressing place. It's, this country was not under a very happy rule in the lifetimes of my children. They did not have democracy. They had something far, far worse. Just looking at everything in this museum, bringing a lot of thoughts home. This is truly a depressing place. It's the story of, it's the story of Albania. It is not a pleasant, happy one, but it's not exactly a story of Albania. It's a story of every place that has a regime that defines by conformity, that will make you conform no matter what you think, by purity, by religion, by ethnicity, by whatever it is. When a handful of people determine what everyone needs to look and act like, this is what happens. It happens everywhere around the world. And if I might get a little bit political, uh, it can happen anywhere. Just saying, oh no, it can never happen in my country, it can never happen here. Yeah, I'm sure they said the exact same thing. Cannot say that I like that place, but it's a place that you have to visit. You have to learn about. It's really important, especially in this day and age. No idea what's back here. It's, it's a back here. Well, a fixer-upper. Actually, I think somebody's using that. That would make a cool hostel. So why are we in Tirana, Albania? Well, we're looking for a, a temporary homestead. Actually, we're looking for several. We want to spend a few months here, a few months there, all around the world, so we can kind of have a home place, a place where we can put in roots, but at the same time, not too deep of roots. And we heard that Albania was inexpensive and we weren't sure what else it would have. But so far, after just a day of being here, it's a lovely city. I mean, absolutely incredible. With a history I am dying to explore. Yeah, this is very much gonna be high on the list of one of the maybe top five places we stay every single year. Yeah, I know, we're overachievers. What do you want? Okay, I'm somewhat embarrassed. Nikki just told me, I thought this was a cool archway. Uh, you know, hey, let's have decorative place for people. No, it's the Vodafone logo. You can come on this bridge and get free Wi-Fi, apparently. Say it again. Vodafone. 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 <laughs> yes. Hey, you live and learn.
And we are back from a long day of exploring. I tell you, I am still not used to living in an apartment. I'm still not used to, I gotta show you something funny. In fact, I gotta turn on the lights so and actually see it. You see this, this is the entirety of my clothes. This is everything that I own. Every bit of clothing and four pair of socks. Oh, and a sweatshirt that I will definitely no longer need because, well, it's summer. So I think this transition to apartment living to somewhat stable nomadic living is just really starting to kind of get to me. But I do want to talk, to, starting to get to me, starting to enjoy it. I actually, I don't even know anymore. Okay, I alluded to something and I am going to put my kickstand out so you can actually see me. We good? I think we're good. I alluded to something earlier and I kind of want to explain it a little bit. We have been doing nomad life for almost three years now and we're getting tired. We're getting, we want to keep traveling. We want to keep exploring, but we want to do it a little bit on the slower side. So we have been looking at places that we can afford to stay. I mean, that's the, the biggest end all be all bottom line at the end of the day is we only have so much money and we have to figure out how to actually live within our boundaries. Now, up until now, we have been doing things like, I don't know, parking the bus in one of our daughter's driveways and not paying rent like that, but that's not really going to cut it. So we have narrowed things down to we know we want to be in Mexico. We know we want to be in Spain. We know we want to take the bus around places. And we're trying to figure out maybe one or two other spots where we can spend a couple months out of the year that's not going to break the bank. I got to tell you, so far, Albania feels like it could be it. I have such a good positive vibe from being here. But for now, I'm tired. I'm gonna put this video together. I'm gonna release it. That's the best part. It is 8.30 right now. For all you guys on the East Coast, it is 2.30. For those on the West Coast, it ain't even lunchtime yet. Gives me plenty of time to do this, release the video, have a few more beverages, and Hell, you aren't even home from work yet. So with that, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting our craziness. Be healthy, be happy, and we will see you real soon. And I gotta find the ice tray. Apparently there is no ice in this apartment, and that's not good. That building is a giant game of Jenga. Yes, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna pull, and then eventually, well, let's hope the whole thing doesn't fall down. It's still a really cool building. There are a lot of really cool buildings here.